In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the projectile motion FET simulation. So following the link in the lab will bring you to this page, and then you can simply click on the play button here. And it opens it up to this screen, and you have four choices here, and you're going to pick the intro. Later on in the lab, you'll use the vectors portion. But for right now, click here, and you should see the cannon is already elevated. And you can use this button right here to raise and lower the cannon. You can click on the cannon and change its angle. And it's in five degree increments. Right here, you can change the initial speed. And you can also just change it one at a time here. This is where you change the object. And you want to make sure air resistance is off. And you can press this red button to fire the cannon. You can change it a little bit and fire it again. And it will show all of the different trajectories that you've drawn until you decide to erase them. As you can see, things are going off the screen. So I'll click the minus button here. These are our zoom control buttons. Okay, if you're zoomed out this far, you can't see it as well. So you want to zoom in as far as you can without cutting off any of the data. So if I was analyzing this one right here, it'd be okay to be on this zoom, but if I'm analyzing those other ones, it'd be good to be here. Here's your data collection tool. You can bring this down and you can have it, you can see the data appears when it's right over one of the dots. Right now I put it over the green dot, which corresponds to the peak. So you can see the time, how far it's gone horizontally, and how high it is right now at that moment. Okay, this is a snapshot in time. If I want to see how far it went total, then I have to bring it down here. I want to make sure it's on a height of zero, and then I know the range and the time it took for the entire flight. If I want to get rid of these lines, if it's getting too messy, I can click on the erase button. If I want to step through a run, I can hit pause. And let's say maybe I wanted to show the components of the velocity vectors. Then I can fire the cannon. And because I clicked the pause button ahead of time, when I click fire the cannon, it doesn't actually go. And now I can step through it. I can see here the initial velocity vectors. And as I go, you can see the vertical one getting smaller and smaller. So I'm just stepping through one at a time. Or I can click and hold this and then it just kind of plays in slow motion. Now you can see the vertical velocity vector is downward, and it keeps going. And at some point, you can see now the tip of this has gone off the screen. And so as you keep going, you get, you get less information about that. It's an unfortunate feature. I don't know how to make that show up. All right. Once you have a run that you want to show in the report sheet, you can um, do a screen capture on my computer. I'm going to click the print screen button. Then I'm going to go over to my lab, click on I will click on right here where it says to load this lab in a new window. That pulls up the PowerPoint file. I can edit the presentation either in PowerPoint or your, on your computer or edit right in the browser. So by editing it right in the browser, then it's going to go right back into um, your assignment. That way it'll automatically submit. So here you can type your name in and make sure you highlight or delete the information in there. Um, get rid of the instructions, in other words. And then right here, let's say I wanted to put this in here. It's actually the one I did was not a horizontal launch, but I put it in here. I do a control V, to paste it, and then I stretch it out. It's not going to fit that window perfectly. Okay, and again, I could get rid of this box back there. You can see I didn't cover up any of the 
didn't cover up any of the questions or other text on this page. And I can also go into picture and select crop. And that brings up these black handles on the edges. And if I grab the black handles, I can zoom in and get rid of the parts that I don't need. Like that. Although it might be nice just to show that I had air resistance off. But then, because I've cropped it, I can now make this larger. And that's really easy to see. I can read the text in these boxes. And so now you know how to run the simulation and you know how to uh, copy and paste the screenshot into PowerPoint. Like I said, in other parts of the lab, you're gonna use the vectors selection, and that's just made right down here. You'll go to here, and then there's a little bit different looking screen, and this has some different options that you'll use. Note that when the cannon is all the way down at ground level, the minimum angle you can fire at is 25 degrees. To go any lower than 25, you have to actually raise it up, and then you can change the angle. You can even shoot downward. All right, if you have any further questions, just ask your instructor.